welcome. I am delighted to be here, delighted to share this evening with you. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you to someone, although that's probably not the right word, just remind you of someone who has brought you all here tonight, Antonio Alves. He is the president of the HBS Club of Washington, D.C. Tonight is your night. My name is Antonio Alves. I serve as the president of the HBS Club of Washington, D.C. Our club is the focal point of the HBS com community. We have over 4,000 HBS alumni in the DC metro area. Each year, Harvard Business School holds a week-long course for nonprofit leaders from around the world. And the strategic perspectives in nonprofit management program is an experience that participants all say is transformational. The John C. Whitehead Nonprofit Leader Scholarship allows nonprofit CEOs from the Washington, D.C. area to attend the program on the Harvard Business School campus. Tonight, we honor the winner of the 2015 John C. Whitehead Nonprofit Leader Scholarship, Catherine Roboff. Well, tonight, I have the distinct pleasure of awarding the first ever Harvard Business School Club of Washington, D.C.'s HBS Alumni Achievement Award to Glenn Yonkin. I um, am always um, first to remember that it's about our friends, uh, our family, uh, our faith, uh, and our relationships that deliver uh, so much meaning in all of our lives. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Gene Case, the 2015 Leadership Award winner. Lifetime achievement? I'm that old? <laughs> I thought I was just getting started, I'm just saying. And Antonio, you know, you know the work of the Case Foundation. And you know Be Fearless is a big part of what we really sort of put out there and we challenge people to be take the risks, right? Make big bets. As I look at this room and I realize it's the first annual HBS Club of Washington, wow, 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 my friend, because it could be 80 whatever and everybody would be going like, great job. I wanted to go to Harvard Business School my father, when I got out of the Navy in 1956. I said, hey dad, I'd like to really go up there to Harvard Business School. He says, you gotta go to work. <laughs> And I would say to anyone in this room, and truly of the 4,000 HBS grads, wow, to whom much has given, much should be expected. I do think that this is um, really a representation of what the Harvard Business School Club of Washington, D.C. should be doing a lot more of, which is just creating community, um, gathering together, not just Harvard Business School people, but, but a variety of folks who who are engaged in Washington, D.C., who run not-for-profits that help 500 kids, um, who work in the office buildings, who serve our country up on the hill. And I don't think it's restricted to Harvard Business School people, but this club can actually be a starting point to start those dialogues. Mm -hmm. 